it's homeschool community day again today and we are here at the church we just pulled in and we for lunch have bags full of groceries that we got from um harris teeter mason don't jump out yet <laughs> someone's pulling up beside me hang on a sec and, and it tells you what you want to do and and this is what i said the first time when i played with it and, 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 and it records everything you say, and um, and me and my brothers got a gift card, and so we played on for a little while, and then when I came back in, uh, my dad finished building my robot, and and, and, and put it on the ground. It also rolls. All right, guys. So we are through with homeschool community day, and we are now at Aldi. We are gonna get some groceries for the week. Yep, that's the volunteer fireman. And I just made a really quick list because I really had not prepared for this trip whatsoever, but today I need to do this shopping trip because we are out of food and I really need to pay a conscious attention, pay a conscious, pay conscious attention to our food budget this week. So we are gonna come in and we're gonna do a quick run into all these. So we will bring you guys along, right Mason? What? Hang on, we gotta get the buggy. Hey guys, and I hurt my lip. Maddie hurt her lip at Homeschool Community. All right, let's put her quarter in. And pull it out. Yeah. Here, Mason. Do you wanna hold this for me? Don't drop it. Here you go. I'll hold you. Up, 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 jump. Ooh. What is that? Yeah. What is that called? Oh, there it goes. All right. There it is. Here we go. All right, let's find some chips for lunches. Because they'll need ladder trucks to get in high buildings. Okay, what kind of chips do you want? Any kind that you like. Any kind? It's not my it's not my chips. Mommy, hmm? I don't like your own texture spicy. Those are too spicy? Yeah. Do y'all want some of these corn chips? Whatever you want. We haven't had those in a while. Those might be good with our white chicken chili. Mm. Ooh, that popcorn Probably a good idea. Yeah, it looks like a bag burst. Well, guys, Keep it nice and steady. This, this is the end of the grocery store shopping. Well, well I mean, it looks like it, but... <laughs> I'm going to video you on Minecraft. Uh-uh, Yeah, that's right. I got a big little spot of down. People put their food up here. Don't put your feet up here. I'm going to get record where you got some stuff in here. Got some pizza. Got all kinds of stuff. Yeah, put the pizza in here. Careful, put it down in there good. Like that, so it doesn't... And the one first up and stay. Let's see, Maddie, are you helping? Yeah. Mom, I think we got a little too much stuff. Oh no. What is this? That's Let's see, let's take a quick. It goes on biscuits. Ooh, yummy. So we just got home from Aldi and I thought I would share our Aldi grocery haul with you guys this week. So I have everything laid out. Our total came to $140 and I've got some meat in the freezer that I'm going to be adding to our groceries for this week. So this only includes a little bit of meat, but I'm going to share with you what I bought and also what we're going to be making for meals this week. So here we go. So here we go, guys. I have everything laid out and I'm just going to go through and show you what I picked up. So over here, we got some Honey Nut Cheerios and some Cream of Wheat. I've never tried their brand, but we'll see how it is. Hopefully it's good. I was out of brown sugar, so I picked that up. We have some rotisserie chicken breast sandwich meat and honey smoked turkey breast. 
some mozzarella cheese and some Italian style cheese for the recipes that I needed. And this was kind of an impulse buy, but I got these um, already cooked grilled chicken breasts. And I really like this for a quick chicken alfredo or a like salad with chicken on top. So I got some of those, got some frozen buttermilk biscuits. I was kind of craving these olives, so I picked those up. Um, this is the Organic Peru Whole Bean Coffee, and I actually really like this coffee. Um, so I was about out of that. Um, chicken stock and vegetable broth. And then I got four of these crescent rolls. These were 99 cents a can, so that's a really good deal for those compared to the store price, normal store price. Y'all, I love the dried Philippine mango. Of course, I'm already into it. And um, if you haven't tried these, you should. They're so good. Two things of Texas toast. These were right at $1.50 each. I got some unsalted butter, some corn chips, and some wavy potato chips. Back here, I have some uh, raspberry fruit spread. This is imported from Germany and made with 75% fruit. So the ingredients looked a lot better than some that I've seen. So we got that. Pot, two things of pasta rings with meatballs for Maddie and Mason for a quick little lunch or snack. Two cans, actually, did I get three? Looks like I got three cans of sweet cream corn, not cream, just sweet whole kernel corn. Two cans of great northern beans. I got two cans of apple pie filling. I'm gonna make a little dessert with that. Um, I got a jar of pesto and some artichoke, artichoke hearts. I have some chocolate pudding and some vanilla pudding and some spreadable butter Mommy, and some and hang on one sec honey I got some American sliced cheese I don't really like these except on like a grilled cheese sandwich but my family does <laughs> um, and then I got a pork this is a pork butt I believe half pork butt roast so I'm gonna do some pulled pork barbecue in the crock pot. So I picked that up. That was $10.87, which is not terribly bad for a big chunk of meat like that. Four cheese ravioli for a baked ravioli I'm gonna do. Cream cheese spread. Oh my goodness, I got chive and onion. Do you know that I did not mean to do that? Oh well, I guess we'll have chive and onion cream cheese spread. Pepperoni, I got two of these ready-made pepperoni and let's see, I got five cheese pizza and a Mexican style pizza and these were only $4.99. So I've heard good things about them and so we are going to try those out this week. Um, I got some clover honey, two um, things of apple juice, some peanut butter, this is for the dessert, the yellow cake mix. A two liter of Coke, two gallons of milk, some grapefruits, some avocado. And these are navel rose oranges. And then these looked really cute. These are called gemstone potatoes, and they are like a mixed, let's just see in the back, kind of a mixed little baby potato mix. I thought that would be good with some olive oil and sea salt. White onion, baby spinach some plain bagels, and two loaves of bread. And I believe that is about it. So this was all $140, and I'm gonna be adding a large pack of chicken that I have in the freezer and a very large uh, pack of ground beef to this haul for our meals this week. Okay, so excuse my handwriting because I did this in the car, so it's pretty messy, but we are gonna have pepperoni pizza twists for as a lunch this week. Um, white, creamy white chicken chili. Um, that looks good. I've never had it, but we're going to try it out. Some spinach and artichoke ravioli bake. Pulled pork barbecue sandwiches. And I think I thought I had one more meal on here. I guess not. So we've got four meals here. I've got the two little pizzas. I picked up the, all the other fruits, veggies, snacks, lunch items, drinks, and things to go in my lunchbox. And then for the other meals, like I said, we'll do the pizza one night. And then um, I'll figure something out. I've got some ground beef and I've also got the Alfredo and the chicken. So I'll probably have some chicken broccoli Alfredo one night. Um, yeah.
see that giant pile? That is what is going to consignment or Goodwill or to a friend who needs some clothes. So I feel like we did pretty good. And this pile right here is the keep pile. And I'm getting ready to put those away. So I decided to go ahead and purge Mason's clothing since I'd already purged my clothing and Maddie's clothing um, and my husband's clothing. Next on the list is was Mason's room. So I've got all of his drawers except for his socks. I still need to sort through his socks and underwear. Um, but all of his drawers and everything in his closet has been sorted through. And I still have a few, um, there, not a few, but there's one shelf in his um, armoire that has clothing I think that is for him to grow into. I have to make sure, but I could definitely go through those and make sure that everything in there is gonna be something that we need to keep. So um, other than that, and shoes, um, I think his clothing has been completely purged. So yay, and I have a ton of stuff to get rid of and to take to consignment tomorrow, so maybe I'll even make a little bit of money on it, which is always a win, right?